I don't care about being a little bit fat. Why should I expend effort into correcting something that I'm not bothered about? I choose to look scruffy. It's a decision that I've taken in my life. I'm fine how I am. Meh. I changed my mind. Most YouTubers carry a cup of tea while they're vlogging. I'm a little bit posher. I go for wine. Really delicious wine. I guess we'll talk about the fat thing first. Basically five minutes after I finished shooting that video last year, I took off the shirt that I'd put on specifically to film that video, looked at myself in the mirror and went, nah, not good enough. That torso is not the torso of a healthy 21 year old. So I battered myself for months. I say I battered myself, I went for a seven mile walk every day and kind of stopped eating junk food and stuff. And now I look like this. The other thing was the scruffiness. I used to be really scruffy. I defined myself by being a little bit forgetful, a little bit eccentric and a little bit scruffy. Now I look like this. Then there's the whole I'm fine as I am thing. I've kind of come to the conclusion this year that you're never fine as you are. Braces himself for the abusive comments. I don't want you to think for a second that by saying that I mean that the only people in the world who can be attractive are the slender ladies and the big muscular chaps. That's not the case at all. It's kind of a clumsy way of saying that you should always be striving to improve yourself. You should always be trying to be a better you. Which is sort of what I decided to do this year after looking at my disgusting 15 stone torso in the mirror that night. I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna try this year to be the best me that I can possibly be. The first thing I did was go and get a smart haircut. I still think that guy looks like a bit of a twat to be honest, but there you go. Then there was the exercising. For the first sort of five, six months, I walked between five and 10 miles every single day. And then once the summer hit me like a runaway locomotive, I began to cycle minimum of 20 miles every day and, you know, felt better for it. I like to think that it's not just my health and my physical appearance that I've improved on this year. As well as that, you know, I've read loads of books and stuff. I've started going out more when my friends asked me to go out. I also tend to dress better than I did before because I actually care about clothes and fashion now, which before I wouldn't do. I would sit and reread the same graphic novels again and again and again. I would wear just whatever was at the front of my wardrobe. I really didn't care about clothes at all. And I would always make an excuse to not go out with my friends. Lots of people like to look back on the year and say, ah, that year was the year of the thing. For me, for example, 2010 was the year of the moving out of home. 2011 was the year of the dropping out of university. 2012 was the year of the slowly becoming a happier person. 2013 has been the year of the self-improvement. And the aim at the moment is for 2014 to be the year when I become the perfect Tom, however that manifests itself. This is not just me talking, this is a conversation. Tell me how this year has been for you. How does it compare to last year? How do you hope it will compare to next year? What's next year going to bring for you? What are you excited about? What are you scared about? That's what the comments are for. And I do reply to all of them because I get about three. I'm gonna go and finish my wine. Laters.